we have the most active developers of any project after Hadoop Map Reduce. At the Spark Summit today, it's really great to have you all here. Uh, and as Andy said, we are sold out with over a thousand people, which is the largest uh, Spark event yet. We are very happy to introduce our first product, Databricks Cloud. Databricks Cloud is based on Apache Spark and includes a Databricks platform and a Databricks workspace. GUI pioneer Alan Kay said, make simple things simple and complex things possible. The goal of the project is, uh, is pretty simple. We want to empower data scientists and engineers and give them good tools to get the things that they need to get done, done quickly and done without a lot of work. Welcome everybody to the first Spark Summit that we've ever had in Europe. And at such a historic, beautiful venue. It's appropriate because this is a historic moment for our community. A community which all of you have played an important role since the beginning. Why we came out to the Spark Summit in the first place. Spark is amazing. I totally agree with that. Meet some fellow developers. And there's a lot more than developers here today too. Community, technology, and business. It's awesome to be here in New York, you know, with a very large audience. The summit is actually sold out. Well, thank you very much, Matei. I am super excited to be here today to demonstrate exactly how you can use Apache Spark 2.0 inside of my favorite platform, Databricks Community Edition, which, as Matei just announced, is now available to everyone in the world for free. We're introducing MLflow, which is an open source platform for the complete machine learning lifecycle. I'm super excited to see almost 5,000 of you here today. And you're here to exchange knowledge, to share ideas, to learn about what's going on in Spark and also its ecosystem. And more importantly, you can take that knowledge home and apply it to your next data pipelines and applications. We're announcing a new open source project here today called Koalas. So, as the title suggests, it's a very simple thing, very simple to understand. It provides a Pandas API on Spark. That is why I'm very excited to introduce Koalas to you today, a unified API to run your Pandas code at scale using Apache Spark. So as you can see here, I've already written some Pandas code to read in a CSV file, select some columns, and display the results. But we can see this took almost two minutes when I ran it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this code down below, change the import from Databricks, import koalas, and now all I have to do is replace my pandas code with koalas. And so I get to keep my same code that I wrote with single node pandas, but now it's going to be running against an Apache Spark data frame, and we can get our results much more quickly. I can see I got them in eight seconds now. We are super excited to announce today that we're actually open sourcing Databricks Delta. So with Spark 3.0, we've now added broad support for SQL. We've also integrated it with Python. And in some sense, it's really unifying now SQL analytics for data warehousing and data science. And that's really exciting because that's where we think the future is going. In fact, our customers were unifying these two things for a while. And actually, a pattern has emerged in which they call this the lake house paradigm. 